I'm in the cancer and stem cell biology program here in Dr. Ong Sun Theong's lab, and I work on um, studying resistance mechanisms in leukemia. Um, I decided to do an MD PhD because, um, well, I always wanted to do a PhD. I was always interested in research, um, and I just felt like if I did an MD, I would understand better human disease and human pathology, and I would be able to ask better questions. So I did my undergrad in Bombay in India. I did a three-year bachelor's in life sciences and biochemistry, which is a little bit different from people that do their undergrad in other countries because they have four-year bachelor's, so they usually have one year of research in their final year. So my experience was a little bit different where I only had a three-year degree, but I did, because I was always interested in research, I did do some internships during my summer time um, with pharmaceutical companies or in some academic labs, but no, no really like big continuous uh, research exposure, um, which is another reason why I wanted to do a PhD because I felt like if I ever wanted to pursue research as a career, um, that training was really important to get a PhD. It's a little bit different going from studying medicine, which is a very organ-based system or a whole human-based system where we're studying diseases and symptoms and you know bigger things. And when you go to a PhD, you're studying much more focused things. You're studying single proteins or single molecules. So that change in the way of thinking takes a bit of time. I think it took a bit of time to readjust to you know reading scientific papers and focusing on much more small things as opposed to medical school, which you're focusing on much bigger things. So that transition took time, but I think, um, you know, our mentors are pretty patient with us and they help us with that transition. So the Duke NUH PhD program is very unique. I think it's called a PhD in Integrated Biology and Medicine, and it really is. It's, they really focus on translational questions, questions that apply very directly to um, human pathology, which is interesting to uh, MD students like me. Um, and the other really unique thing about it is we have very um, distinct programs, different programs. We have infectious diseases, cancer, um, metabolic diseases, and health sciences research. And there's a lot of interdisciplinary um, projects and collaborations between the different departments, which is really, really um, nice. And I think the atmosphere at Duke NUS is really nice, where everyone's really friendly and really helpful. And I've learned a lot from people not working in my lab and not working in my department as well. So I think that's very unique to Duke NUS as well. And because we're a new program, I think the students get to play a really big role in how the curriculum develops. And um, that's really exciting for me because um, the deans are very, very, um, you know, they have an open door policy. You can walk into their office and talk to them about ideas and they're very receptive. So I think it's been a very, very interesting journey, very exciting. Immediately after I finish my MD PhD, I want to do a residency. I want to specialize um, because my eventual goal is to be able to um, see a see a subspecialty kind of patient and then be able to do research focused towards that patient. So my interest lies in oncology. Um, I would like to hopefully see patients in a subspecialty related to oncology and then um, do research related to that specialty and be able to help patients. So ideally I can get um, samples from my patients, you know, if they agree to participate in my research and then do research focused towards that. So I think it's a good system where I'm able to see patients and also do research.